<laughs> Dave, what was the big thing that when you did the review, I like, guess frustrated you the most out of that game on Friday night? Um, oh, I'm not sure about frustrated, but we um, we made a couple of defensive errors that we wouldn't normally make, and uh, they're pretty clinical, and they they scored off them, and uh, we had some opportunities, um, especially just before half time and just after half time, which you know, could have put a little bit of pressure on them. So we didn't nail those, but you know it's a game of inches, and um, that's what you expect in these sort of encounters. The, the little chip over the top that Aaron put in for Damien. You know, two metres left and two metres shorter and he gets to it first and scores, so um, I think the option was good. It just, um, you know, they covered it well and then they were pretty clinical after that. Uh, having a, had another look at the tape, I'm sure more than one, do you feel the penalty count against your team was justified? Um, no, but I never do. Um, although we gave away some soft and dumb ones, which have no issues about. and. You know, well, you can grizzle about all sorts of things around the referee decisions, but you've got to be good enough to take them out of it. So, yeah, there was a couple of times that we felt that we um, couldn't get access to the ball or to the, to the air, um, player over the ball because, of, you know, their tackler's not rolling away. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that if they looked at it, they could grizzle about a couple of things about us. So, what did you make of the Blues game? Did you catch any of them? Yep, no, I've had a good look at it. Um, yeah. A couple of strange yellow card decisions that ended up being a red card, probably. So, um, oh look, um, it's not an easy place to go, as we found out. And, um, you know, the Stormers, even with um, a couple of first fives out, still were able to apply a lot of pressure, especially through their pack. So, um, now what we know is that Blues will be pretty desperate this week. How are your um, concussion guys, Dave? Is there any sort of update on them? Yeah, look, um, Charlie's Charlie's pretty good. He um, he's had about uh, four days symptom free and so on. So, um, uh, but we're unlikely to use him this week. We'll um, we want to be really sure. So, um, and similar with Sam McNichol, he's had a bit of history with concussion. He actually bounced back reasonably well the day after. But um, we'll, we'll tread carefully around that. You know, he he missed the whole NPC through concussion. So. Uh, Beaver, um, he's actually bounced back okay. Uh, we'll, we'll make a decision on him later, but obviously he's going through protocols and at this stage unlikely. So on Charlie, when you say you'd be, you know, play it um, pretty safe, I suppose, like he he would be probably available this week if you wanted, but you just just don't want to agitate it. Yeah, I'll, um, in the end we'll take advice from the medics around that. So, um, like, you know, also we didn't take him to Fiji because he, um, you know, obviously had a headache um, post training, so we couldn't find what that was about, and we just want to be really cautious around him. So uh, we're not going to rush him back in, but uh, the news is pretty positive. And you haven't been able to find what it was. Um, no. Still searching. Yeah. Johnny Paul, who had his hamstring, has the latest news. Um, yeah, he's a chance this week. So um, I guess the hassle was. I suppose playing away, you know, we left Tuesday and so um, he might have got right in time, but, you know, we, um, we really needed a decision early in the week, so we decided to leave him at home. So uh, I think he'll be right. Any other injury concerns at this um, No, no, not too bad other than that. Dave, what did you make from Nathan Harris' performance in Super Yeah, I oh, know it's, it's good. Um, obviously, with Nathan, uh, it's the first start of the season and He'd be better for it. It's a very good defensive line out, so his um, speed of throw was, was going to be important in that game. And um, yeah, good for him to get a bit of physicality and get things going. What do you make of the line out towards the end of the game there? That kind of fell apart on you? Yeah, it wasn't a great throw from Hicker, who's uh, actually thrown very well. And our line out's you know, been one of the best in the competition. So, uh, But you know, under pressure, um, it's got to work, and uh, unfortunately, didn't. Dave, who goal kicks for you this week? Do you decide or do you let Aaron and Damien decide that between them? Ah, uh, yeah, look, we'll have a chat between us. So, um, yeah, we're fortunate we've got a couple of good options. And like, well, we believe Aaron's our best goal kicker. Uh, didn't have a great night, um, even by his own admission. So, I thought he had a great game. I thought he played superbly. Uh, but, um, you know, he's tough on himself. So, yeah, we'll make a decision based on how well they kicked during the week. and. You, do you ultimately make that decision or do you let that, that little subgroup inside your group make the decision as a, as a unit? 
Um, well, they both want to kick. So, you know, invariably if, if Aaron's happy and we were happy with the way he's kicking, then he'll kick. But uh, we won't, certainly won't let one game spook us. Tim Nonai Williams back after a couple of months. What were your thoughts on his game? Um, oh, you know what you get with Timmy, he's got great feet. Um, so I thought it was a real clinical finish when he scored. And uh, he's the type of guy who can open up teams. And um, yeah, he's got a great skill set. So he jumps in at first receiver a lot and so on. So uh, no, it was, it was good. Uh, he'll be better for it. You might jump in the midfield this week then with those concerns around the other. Midfield. Yeah, so Tim's an option there with Anton. Uh, Johnny Fioli um, had a you know, four week suspension, which has been served. And so he's back and available now. Uh, we brought Alex Nankerville back into the squad as cover uh, with the three uh, loose, uh, midfielders that we've got out with concussions. So uh, Alex has obviously played a bit for us as well. Gabe, what did you make of the, uh, the incidents with the Crusaders trial where there was the potential obstructions on you guys? E even though, you know, Nathan probably wasn't going to get there anyway, is it something we need to talk about more this, this well? Yeah, oh, look. Um, I mean, a lot of teams are throwing balls behind um, uh, would-be attackers and that sort of thing. And I think if there's a little bit of a bump and that's not an issue, if you throw out your arms and grab someone, then potentially that's foul play and obstruction. So um, they've been really harsh on it around um, kick counter, where, uh, you know, when the people get in and block and open up a path. So, you know, consistency around all aspects will be good. Is it about getting your players also to actually try and continue with the play rather than throw their arms up and try and scream for a penalty? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've got to still try and get across and make the tackle because uh, you know, we're reliant on a referee and a TMO seeing it the way that uh, he saw it. So, um, you know, we've, we've certainly lost two or three tries that way this year, so, you know, ironic, I guess. Have you had a look at the dives in the NRL at the moment and sort of the cross code? What's happened there with the bunker? Uh, no. Dave, obviously with the Blues, their season effectively goes on the line and obviously you're pushing for the second seed at this stage, so massive game for both teams, so you expect another tough and easy derby? Yeah, I mean, we we haven't counted out the fact that we could still finish top in our conference, but of course we need um, a couple other sides to knock over the Crusaders, so uh, well, we'll control what we can, and obviously that's um, through a good performance this weekend, but yeah, no, we're conscious of the fact that uh, the Blues lose this weekend, their, their chance of qualifying are gone, so um, I think they'll be highly motivated and, and there have always been massive encounters, so um, expect nothing different this week. You mentioned last time with Augie a lot of international property with SBW there as well, so it's going to be hard to with. Yep, yeah, we've, um, we've still got some calls that they may be familiar with, um, both of them played sevens all last year, so we're relying on the fact that their, uh, their memory's not that good. <laughs> Dave, slightly off topic, uh, Sevens coming to Hamilton next couple of years. What do you think about that? Brilliant. Yeah, uh, I won't be here unfortunately, but yeah. uh, it'd be a great venue to have it. Um, you know, 24,000, I don't know if they'll put more seats in, but uh, nice and close, and I'd imagine they'll want a real party atmosphere and uh, be a great place for it.